Tesla just dropped a bombshell with the new Model Y, and let me tell you, this isn't just a minor update. What they've done will have fans excited and maybe a little worried. From unexpected design tweaks to game-changing features and yes, some controversial choices, there's a lot to unpack. So if you're thinking about getting one or just love cutting-edge EV tech, stick around because what we found might surprise you. In this video, we'll break down what's new, what's missing, and whether this is the Tesla upgrade we've been waiting for. Plus, we'll reveal a few hidden details that even Tesla didn't highlight. This is the latest version of the Tesla Model Y, and it's already making waves because Tesla just made some surprising updates that could change how you experience this car. But is it really worth the hype? Then versus now, the Model Y has been Tesla's best-selling vehicle thanks to its mix of range, tech, and affordability. But this time, Tesla made some tweaks, some big, some subtle, that might just make you rethink your next EV purchase. Charging station. And here's why this update matters right now. The EV industry is moving fast. With new competitors like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Ford Mustang Mach-E stepping up their game, Tesla isn't just coasting anymore, they're making moves to stay ahead. But here's the real question. Are these changes actually better? Or is Tesla just tweaking core features and analysis? All right, now let's get into the good stuff. What's actually new with this Model Y? Because while some changes are obvious, others, well, Tesla kind of snuck them in without saying much. One, design and exterior. Sleek, but subtle. At first glance, you might think nothing has changed, but look closer. New headlights and taillights design. Different markets may get different versions. Slight aerodynamic tweaks to improve efficiency. New color options. But Tesla being Tesla, they charge extra for them. Fun fact, these new headlights? They might be matrix LEDs, but Tesla hasn't officially confirmed if they'll be fully activated in software updates. Comparison. Unlike competitors like the Mustang Mach-E or Ioniq 5, Tesla keeps its design updates minimal, more Apple refresh than complete redesign. Two, interior and tech, the minimalist evolution. Step inside and you'll notice a few key upgrades Tesla didn't make a big deal about. New materials, softer dashboard, improved trim options, ambient lighting, a subtle but welcome addition for a more premium feel, touchscreen updates, faster processing, better graphics, and a new UI tweak. The biggest change, Tesla quietly removed ultrasonic sensors, relying solely on cameras for parking and autopilot. Some love it, others, not so much. Comparison. Compared to the Model 3 Highland Refresh, the Model Y hasn't gotten the rear screen yet, but that might be coming in the next update. 3. Performance and efficiency. Faster, smoother, smarter. Now let's talk about what really matters, how this thing drives and how much range you actually get. Battery and range, same 75 kilowatt hour battery, but minor efficiency improvements. Long range model, up to 330 miles, EPA estimate. Performance model, faster 0 to 60 but slightly less range. Charging, supercharger max, 250 kilowatts, 10 to 80% in approximately 25 minutes. Now with Tesla's Magic Dock, opening up superchargers to non-Tesla EVs. Comparison. While some competitors like the Ionic 5 charge slightly faster, Tesla still dominates in efficiency and charging network accessibility. 4. Autopilot and software. And of course, we can't talk Tesla without mentioning Autopilot. No big hardware changes, but software updates continue. FSD beta improvements, but still not fully autonomous. Removal of ultrasonic sensors means some drivers are reporting issues with parking assistance. Surprise insight, here's something Tesla didn't advertise. Some older Model Y owners actually lost certain features like Park Assist when Tesla removed sensors and software updates haven't fully fixed it yet. So what's the verdict? So is this the best Model Y yet? Yes and no. While Tesla has refined a great formula, some of these updates feel more like tweaks than true innovations. But before you make any decisions, Let's talk about the big question. Should you buy it now or wait? That's coming up next. Would you like more emphasis on a particular feature? And this is where things get really interesting. Because after testing the new Model Y, I realized something Tesla isn't telling you. 
Key changes. At first, these updates seem like a solid step forward. Better materials, small design tweaks, improved software. But then, I noticed something off. Sensor struggles. Remember how Tesla removed the ultrasonic sensors? Well, that means some parking and collision warning features still aren't working properly for some owners, even months after the update. Public outcry. That's right. If you rely on Tesla's parking assist, this could be a deal breaker. The big question. Is this the best Model Y yet? Look, there's no doubt this is still one of the best EVs you can buy. The range, the charging network, and the tech still make it hard to beat. EV showdown. But with competition from the Ionic 5 and Mustang Mach-E getting stronger, Tesla can't just rely on small tweaks forever. Should you buy the new Model Y? If you already own a Model Y, probably not worth upgrading. If you're coming from a gas car or older EV, still one of the best choices, but only if you're okay with the missing sensors. If you're waiting for a major Tesla refresh, you might want to hold off. And that brings us to the biggest question. Should you buy this Model Y now? Or is Tesla planning something even better? That's coming up next in the final verdict. So after breaking it all down, should you buy the new Tesla Model Y? If you're new to EVs or upgrading from an older car, this is still one of the best all-around electric SUVs on the market. If you already own a Model Y, the changes are minor, so it's probably not worth the upgrade. If you want the latest and greatest Tesla tech, you might want to wait and see what Tesla does next. But now I want to hear from you. Would you buy this Model Y or do you think Tesla is playing it too safe? Drop a comment below. I read every single one. Future unveiled. And if you think this was interesting, wait until you see what Tesla might be working on next. Because if the rumors are true, the next big update could change everything. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. If this video helped you out, hit that like button. It really helps the channel. And if you want more deep dives into EVs, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.